Satan's Deadly Tricks. This story is taken from the Great Controversy, Chapter 32. The time is drawing near for Jesus to come, and Satan knows it. He knows that his chances to deceive the world will soon be gone. He doesn't want us to be saved and taken to heaven where he once lived, so he tries to deceive us and trick us into believing his lies. More than anything, he wants to discourage us and make us feel sad when everything is going wrong. That is exactly the time when we should pray. Satan knows that through prayer we get our help from God. He knows that if we pray, asking God to direct our lives, we will win all our battles against him. So he tries to keep us from going to our knees and praying. Satan knows that some of us will pray no matter what he does, so he often tries to falsely use prayer as a weapon against us. When we pray for help from God, Satan sends us troubles so that we will be tempted to think that prayer doesn't help. Then he tries to get us to give up our faith in God. There are other ways that Satan tries to deceive people too. He wants people to think that smart people in this world sometimes know more than the Bible does. Without God's Spirit to help them understand what they are reading in the Bible, some people become critics of it. But since God created science, he has the real answers. And he will show us the right ones if we are patient. Satan will try to do everything he can get you to doubt God's word, the Bible. Sometimes there may be things that you do not understand, and he will try to make you wonder if God's word is true. But God's word is always true, no matter what any person may say. He has given us many truths in the Bible that are not hard to understand, and they will always stay the same. We need to be faithful in studying and doing the things we can understand, and then God will help us to understand even more things. Sometimes we read things in the Bible that we don't want to hear. Instead of humbly, humbly obeying God's word, we try to think of reasons that we should not have to do as God asks. This is one of Satan's biggest temptations. Satan knows that he can probably never get us to ignore the really big things in the Bible, so he gets us to look at the little things. Satan uses all these things to distract us, trick us, and get us to disobey God. We need to remember that if God says we should or should not do something, we need to obey him. We owe him that much. After all, he is our creator. Today, more than ever before, people don't believe that Satan exists. They think that he is make-believe, and they create pictures of him to, to let people think that he is a fairy tale. But of course, this is just another big lie that Satan uses to deceive us. In almost the opposite way, Satan tries to communicate with people who think he doesn't exist and who believe in him the wrong way. He does this through many things that use evil power from the supernatural world. It might be a seance where people think that they can talk to the dead or possibly in books, movies, or games through which demons from the spirit world can deceive us. Finally, Satan tries to deceive us by destroying our confidence in the Bible. He does this by getting people to find fault with the Bible. For example, he gets people to say that the Bible is not consistent. He says that the Bible tells us one thing in one part and then says the opposite in another. This is just <clears throat> another lie that Satan uses so that we will not trust the Bible. Then people use this to discourage others and excuse themselves from understanding the Bible, or maybe studying it at all. Satan uses all of these things to deceive us and to get us to give up our faith in God. However, Jesus died so that we might overcome Satan, and he did, as he did when he was here on earth. We can thank God for that. Our prayer, dear Jesus, help us to listen to your voice so that we can avoid Satan's temptations. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hidden treasure questions. What are some ways that Satan tries to deceive Christians today? I can think of a few answers. Can you? When we pray for help from God, what does Satan do? I can think of a few answers for that too. But for some answers, you can go on to this little barcode, scan it, and check for content. And God bless and doodles. Bye.